Turstan on Kleinen Groups. Thank you very much for the introduction and uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Um, so, uh, in, uh, in the four talks, I, I'd like to uh, uh, show you the, uh, how the first one uh, considered Kleinen Groups and uh, uh, mainly on his work. Uh, on the implementation of theorem and uh, uh, of the development of the Kleinian group theory after Thurston. So uh, let me start with uh, uh, Thurston and uh, Thurston's work on uh, uniformization of Hartem manifold. So uh, the story begins uh, in uh, the, the late 1970s or early uh, 1980s, where uh, when uh, some of you were not born yet, and uh, so uh, so uh, at that time, the first one was trying to uh, prove the, the what now called the uniformization theorem of Hartem manifold. So uniformization. Before uh, stating this theorem, uh, let me just uh, uh, explain what uh, what is Hartem manifold and uh, the what what is uniformization. So uh, Hartem manifold uh, is a kind of the three manifold. So it's a three manifold and uh, having the uh, the following two properties. So, so we assume that three manifold to be the uh, to be orientable and uh, compact. Okay, and uh, so the Hartem manifold should have the following two properties. The first is uh, so. Uh, well, let me, let me just uh, use the symbol M for the manifold. So the first property is that M is reducible. So that means um, every every two sphere embedded in M 
five, the three ball. Amen. So there's no essential uh, tooth sphere in them. So they have every tooth sphere in them is a kind of uh, in, in essential, meaning that the, it bounds uh, three ball. So, uh, well, any mind has uh, embedded two sphere by just uh, considering any point and uh, taking a neighborhood and just uh, consider the small ball and its boundaries every, uh, 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 always two sphere. So, uh, the M admits only such a kind of trivial two sphere. So, that, that's the definition of the irreducibility of the three mind that, That's the first condition. And the second condition is that M, well, the, the second is uh, more essential. So the M has uh, uh, non peripheral incompressible surface. So uh, what, what, what does it mean? So the non peripheral means, uh, uh, so, so this is the embedded surface. And, uh, the non peripheral means uh, the surface is not R into the boundary of M. And incompressible means, um, well, maybe F surface. So uh, F, F is not to fear. And uh, the, the, well, this is should be, well, maybe the. I should say this should be orientable. And the pi 1 of F injects the pi 1 of M by, uh, by a homeomorphic induced by the inclusion. So, uh, so if M satisfies these two conditions, then that, that M is said to be hard M. So Hake is the name, name of the topologist, and uh, so uh, the, it's called Hake Mantle because Hake, well, consider ha the, the definition of such a such a, the incompressible surface or something like that is due to due to Hake, and Hake is first considered this class of uh, free mantle. Okay, so if it is free, okay. If the manifold, if the manifold is Hagen, then uh, there's something called a hierarchy hierarchy. So that it's a it's a sequence of the uh, surface, incompressible surface in M, and uh, well the so. Uh, because it, it's something like this. So if you if M is Hagen, then uh, there is an incompressible non-peripheral incompressible surface embedded in the M. Then you cut M, cut, cut M along F1. So uh, because F1 is, uh, F1 is uh, orientable, so if you cut an, uh, an M along F1, you get some uh, manifold with boundary. So you get some manifold, compact manifold, M1. And uh, it's easy to see, the once it's, uh, it has boundary, then, uh, well, it's automatically parking. So uh, you have some incompressible surface, non peripheral incompressive surface F2 embedded in M1. So you get M1 by cutting M along F1. And you can continue the process. So uh, until you get uh, the correct, well, a finite union of three balls. So uh, if M is Haken, then uh, you can cut it by incorporate surface. And uh, so again, uh, if, if, if it's not, not still a three ball, then you can find an incompressive surface again and uh, cut it. And you can continue the process. And you can show 
the such a process should end at the finite steps. So uh, eventually, you should get some uh, collection of three balls. So uh, the eminent Hagen did a method to uh, uh, simplify the manifold by cutting along the uh, incompressible surfaces, and uh, eventually you get uh, uh, union of three balls. So that's what grew uh, by Hagen. So the surface along which you cut, do they have boundary? Yeah, well, well the, the ha surface can, may have boundary. So once you have a well, 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 so if you, even if you start from the closed uh, three manifold, once you, you just cut the, uh, the uh, manifold by the surface, at some stage you have to use the uh, uh, surface with boundary. Because uh, in, in the last stage, so you, you get uh, something like a handle body and you have to cut the manifold along the disk. Sorry, and disks are allowed in the definition of Hagen. Yeah, yeah, disk is allowed in the, in the, in the so definition. It's, it's so it's, it's, a, it's a disk which is not a non peripheral disk. So that, that means it's something called a compressing disk. Okay. So, uh, so what happened? Proved in uh, 1968 that if, uh, if we have any hacking, then uh, well, the homotopy equivalence between the hack and manifold, well, maybe the homotopy for, for, for hack and manifold homotopy equivalence. implies in a morphism and uh, homotopy implies isotopy. So uh, before the something well, like uh, the the quantum conjecture or the geometrization conjecture was solved, so uh, there is a class of Three manifold for which uh, there's no problem uh, of the gap between uh, homotopy equivalence of the morphism or between uh, homotopy and isotopy. And uh, that, 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 that's the class of a Hacker manifold. So uh, the ha Hacker manifold is something, the three manifold, which is complicated enough. So uh, the, Hacken, the work of Hacker and about how they show that if the manifold is complicated enough, then uh, the, well, it's uh, easy to deal with. So uh, that's uh, in, uh, in the 1968. And uh, after that, so the, the, the uh, work by the Jake Kosharin, Johansson, that was Jake Kosharin, and Johansson. So they <coughs> defined something called the, the JSJ decomposition, right? They, they introduced JSJ decomposition. Uh, or, uh, it's, it's, it's also known as uh, torus decomposition. So that, that, that's for what happened. Or, or, or sometimes if, if, it, if, it, if it has boundary, it, it might the uh, annulus composition. So that's in uh, 1970s. So let me explain what uh, Jacob Sharon and Hanson were in some special case for which uh, the, the, well, the, the definition is a, a kind of a, a bit simpler than the uh, general case, and uh, which is necessary for the, uh, for the statement of the information theorem. So, uh, uh, 
and the the so J, J is J decomposition or some special case when uh, M M M M either M is closed or probably M consists of Tora. So in this case, well, we don't need to consider the annulus, so we, we can just, uh, so what we have only to consider tau, right? So, uh, so if M, M is hardened, and the, 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 it's, it's either closed or the, its boundary consists of tau, right? Then there exists, um, Possibly empty union where well, this joint and, and non, non parallel, I mean, a, a pair, pair, pairwise non parallel, correction. Uh, statement and uh, there, there is something um, uh, more on the, in the, well, well, the, the, this part is very easy and uh, the, what I'm not talking about is uh, the more difficult part but uh, because for the well, for the purpose of this talk this, this is enough so this is just a part of the statement of the JSJ. Uh, is this family unique? Yeah 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 that, that's <laughs> actually that is, uh, that's uh, the difficult part. So uh, it's a kind of uh, uh, the well, it, it's not really unique, but uh, uh, up to some operation, it is unique. So uh, there, there is a kind of uh, a uniqueness. So that that's a difficult part, but uh, I'm not going into that because uh, it's not necessary for, for the purpose of this talk. So. Uh, the theorem. So now, now, now I can state 
the first one. So that's the mechanization. So, okay. And so, support them is a uh, um, M is a uh, uh, geometrically the driver had a control. Then, uh, uh, well, well, well the, the, the boundary is assumed to be either empty or union of course. Then, uh, one of the two conditions. The first condition is that the uh, M is like uh, a fiber manifold. So it's a kind of the, the, it's, uh, the it's a kind of a bundle over orbifold. They took a bar, S1 bundle over two orbifold. So that's the first case. Well, in, in this case, uh, well, well, maybe it's good. And the second is the case when uh, this is the, the second is more important case. So that I will interior of M admit a complete hyperbolic metric. So in this case, uh, the point more M M is. Uh, um, and then M is also algebraically a product. That means that there is no rack to a variant group, no non peripheral a variant group. In the, in the, in. That means if you have a a map from the the rank to abelian group to the pi on the web, then it must be conjugate to uh, uh, the to a subgroup of, of the fundamental group of the boundary for us. So that that's uh, the definition of the algebraic algebraically of the So So uh, so either one or two should hold and. Uh, they are they are exclusive, so uh, the, it's a kind of dichotomy. So uh, j just uh, one, and exactly one of them should fall. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Well, in, in this case, uh, the, 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 there's also possibility that they may have algebraic abroida, but uh, the, there's also cases where the M are not uh, M is not uh, algebraic abroida. So, but in that case two, the M must be algebraic algebraic <laughs> So that, the, that's a famous certain improvisation. So, uh, he showed, so they, they, he showed that, that there are so many three manifolds which admit hyperbolic structure. So uh, that, that's for Hagen manifold. So uh, today, because, uh, Today, today we, we because we know that the the, uh, the general geometrization theorem is true due to work of the the Perelman. So uh, this is just a special case of the, the geometrization theorem. But uh, that, that well, so uh, it took uh, um, more than twenty years from this theorem to the the the, the final solution of the geometrization project. So uh, it's uh, so uh, much. Th th this was proved much before the general uh, geometry. And uh, okay. So uh, so in particular, so in particular, if the M is closed, and uh, uh, and if the M doesn't contain uh, uh, the 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 rank two. Uh, a variant group, then uh, M is either 
the dielectric fiber or uh, the M is uh, uh, well, well, it, it, well, yeah. So, so if it's closed, then uh, it, it, this is clear. But M, M is closed hyperbolic three manifold. So, well, there, there are many closed hyperbolic three manifold actually. So, due to this uniformization of the Okay, so uh, the title of my talk is uh, is uh, the work of Thurston on the Kleinian group. So, uh, the Thurston uh, first encountered the the, the, well, the problem of Kleinian groups in the process of proving this uniformization theory. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, what, what, so uh, the, Probably it's better to uh, say something on uh, the definition of Kleinian groups. So Kleinian groups uh, is just uh, uh, discrete subgroups of PSL2C. So the PSL2C is just uh, the orientation preserving uh, isometric groups isometric group of the, the hyperbolic space. So, uh, in, uh, so in, well, in, in this setting, in this talk, uh, we assume that Kleinian groups are uh, always Kleinian uh, groups are always uh, finitely finitely generated and total free. So uh, if you have a Kleinian group, and because it's torsion free, so, so you, you can uh, consider the portion manifold if you have a Kleinian group G, which is torsion free. And you can consider the hyperbolic free manifold. And the pi 1 of the, this manifold is just the G. So uh, because we assume that it's finitely generated, this, this is a finitely generated fundamental group. So uh, uh, if you have a hyperbolic three manifold, then uh, you can just uh, consider it in, in a universal power, well, uh, which is uh, which is a hyperbolic three space, and uh, its its fundamental group acts on the hyperbolic three space as a hyperbolic translation, and uh, that, that's uh, that's a crime. Now, so, uh, but, so let me tell you what kinds of the problems in the uh, in grinding groups for the Thurston uh, encountered in the, in, the, in the proof of the theorem. So uh, for that, uh, I should uh, explain uh, what kind of strategy uh, Thurston took for, for proving this theorem. So, uh, because uh, M is assumed to be Haken, so M admits uh, hierarchy. So, uh, th that's the point. So, that you, you, you have to uh, construct a hyperbolic structure using that hierarchy. So, such a strategy is just uh, uh, induction based on the hierarchy. So, uh, he assumed you get some hyperbolic structure in a, in a, in the previous stage of the hierarchy or, or the next stage of the hierarchy. So if you, you, you have a hyperbolic structure in a, in the nth stage, any step of the the uh, hierarchy, then you show that the, the you have a hyperbolic structure in the n minus one uh, step. So uh, that that's what we do. So you have m. And then you have M1, so you cut the M along F1, and uh, you, you, you get the ball, the balls. So balls have hyperbolic structure because uh, the, 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 it's, uh, it's just uh, the, its interior is just a hyperbolic free space. So uh, starting from the hyperbolic structure here on the ball, 
you just uh, going back. So uh, and uh, you just glue a uh, hyperbolic structure on the, on the next step, and uh, you get the, the hyperbolic structure on the previous step. So that that's a strategy. So uh, to prove that, so so uh, yeah, so that the so the the general strategy is. Uh, is uh, the construct a hyperbolic structure on the M N using using a hyperbolic structure of N N plus one. Okay. So. Uh, the typical, well, to to uh, well to explain how to do that, the, the the most interesting case is the final step. So how you can get the hyperbolic structure on M one, uh, no no hy hyperbolic structure on N from M, that of M one. So uh, we, I I will explain. So how to get hyperbolic structure. On M provided M1 at the hyperbolic So uh, let me draw a picture explaining what should be done in this step. You have uh, manifold M. So typically, name is a closed three manifold, closed Harkin three manifold. So uh, well, it may have a torus boundary, but uh, well, for simplicity, I assume that uh, it's a closed three manifold. And it contains uh, non peripheral incompressible uh, incompressible surface F. So you cut M along F, then you get the uh, manifold M1. So uh, the picture is something like this. So you have M, and inside M, you have S, which is incompressible. And by cutting M along F, you get the uh, manifold. Well, it, it may be disconnected or connected. So uh, it, it might be something like this. Okay, There are two possibilities, depending on whether M is separating or not separating. So uh, we know, so we assume that uh, the, the, this M1, so M1 is the union of this or this, so M1 is hyperbolic. Okay. And well, more, well, M1, assume M1 is uh, hyperbolic. So it's, uh, it's uh, the, the assumption of induction. So, but, uh, well, this hyperbolic structure is something special. So, uh, because it has a boundary, and uh, the boundary has genus greater than one, because there are no torus inside them, so it's, uh, it should have the genus greater than one. So, uh, for the manifold, for the compact manifold, uh, with the boundary, whose genus is greater than one, the, the hyperbolic structure we have to consider is uh, that of the uh, structure with uh, infinite volume, but uh, the well, it, this well I will explain it later. But it, well, what we have to consider is some something called a convex compact hyperbolic structure. 
So uh, the is a quotient of that hyperbolic space. It has uh, infinite volume, but it has something, some convex sum manifold which is compact. So uh, that that means that the definition of convex compact uh, hyperbolic structure. And uh, so we assume that M1 has a such a kind of hyperbolic structure. Then uh, uh, you can. So what what we have to do is to show. So uh, um, um, the the by uh, to show that M has the hyperbolic structure by uh, uh, adjusting the hyperbolic structure on M, M1, so that the, the so that the, so you, you, you have a co two copies of F here, so F plus and F minus, so here I'm going to plus and F minus, by, so that the, the F plus and F minus can be grouped together uh, in, a, in a hyperbolic way. Well, in a hyperbolic way. Well, it's a kind of uh, uh, isometry, but uh, uh, it's uh, more complicated than that. So then let, let me just say it's, it's a hyperbolic way. So I, I will uh, explain what it, what it means in a few minutes. So uh, okay, that that's the the, the uh, essential step of the proof of the improvisation step. So uh, you have a uh, so you you assume that you have a hyperbolic structure here or here, and uh, to get the hyperbolic structure by M, you have to adjust the hyperbolic structure. You have to deform the original hyperbolic structure mm -hmm. to some other hyperbolic structure so that you can paste these surfaces together and get the hyperbolic structure. So uh, actually, to do that, uh, there's, there are two essentially distinct cases. So the first case is when, uh, when M1 is a uh, uh, product I bundle. So, uh, or maybe twist of I bundle. But, yeah. um, okay, so uh, the first case is when M1 is uh, 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 the I bundle or, or, or product I bundle of, of, of O by F. So, or a twisted I bundle over a prime where x prime is doubly covered by so if a prime is a non-orientable surface doubly covered by x Then that's the first case, and the second case is the only other cases. So Thurston um, wrote uh, uh, a paper on on the, the first case, and uh, it's uh, so so actually Thurston tried to uh, prove the uniformization theorem and uh, wrote a paper on that. Uh, well, wrote a, a part of that paper. <laughs> Actually, the, so he planned to write uh, uh, seven, uh, the series of seven papers. And uh, he wrote uh, one, two, and three. And uh, in the one is just uh, uh, kind of the overall picture and uh, with uh, some proof of the, the second case. Second case, uh, some special case of the, the second case, and uh, it's published in Annals of Mathematics. And the second part, the second of the series, is uh, on the on the first case. 
and uh, it's not published. So, but it, 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 they, so he wrote a preprint, and you can still have the, that preprint from the from the server or from the archive. And he also wrote the, the part three, and it deals with the the second case for uh, well for more general setting than the first part. So uh, the, the so uh, the the first case is something. So for, for to prove the first case, what he needed is something called doubling. So. The, for the second case, so he had to show something. So he, he had to deal with the deformation space of client and groups. And uh, he had to show that some, something, some property of skinning maps, something called skinning maps. So because it's easier to, well, it, well it, it's not so easy, but it, it's uh, relatively easier to explain the, the first part than the, the second case. So let me begin with the, 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 the by explaining the first case. I'm sorry, uh, we, we M is only more for L to cross I. When you go back to M, is it... Uh, it's it's a surface it's a, it's a, it's a battle of Islam. Yeah, but it's formulated until hmm? or... It, 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 M, M, M is closed, so, so we, we are dealing with the case M is closed. So the F, F is a closed surface, so, uh, so something like that is M1. So M is uh, obtained by tracing this side and that side. Mm -hmm. Then what you get is some, uh, the surface bundle of that, that's all. Uh, the, the boundary of this is M. Hmm? The, the boundary of F is empty. The boundary of M is also empty. Oh. It's clear? Okay. Because I think S1 cross S1, its boundary is uh, it's not empty. Uh, so. uh -huh. uh, well, well, it's, uh, so it's, it's something about the mapping Torah. So, uh, and uh, the monogamy is some, something, some map very complicated, so that uh, it's not the product boundary, but it's uh, a yeah. very twisted boundary. So uh, let me explain the, the, this, this part. So uh, because uh, the, this, this is uh, just, uh, for, for this you, you just uh, need a minor modification of the, uh, uh, the argument for this one. So just we assume M1 is uh, uh, for the I bundle, if if it's a closed surface. So, uh, so in this case, well, the assumption of the induction is somehow the the clear. It's uh, actually um, you don't have to uh, assume that uh, it, it's a for 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 the for the assumption of induction. It's it's uh, it's clear. Satisfied. Actually, the, the f cross i admits evidently a hyperbolic structure. So, uh, because f is a closed surface, you can you can just uh, 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 consider the, the Fuchsian representation of f into PSA two r. Then uh, it's uh, PSA 2 R is a subgroup of PSA 2 C, so uh, it's, uh, it, it has a representation to a PSA 2 C. But, uh, well, you know, it, it's a kind of the uh, degenerate case. I mean, uh, um, so in general, in general, so it's a F, F cross I. So in general, you, you can consider the uh, something called a quasi Fuchsian representation of R line of F into PSA to R, PS to C, sorry. 
And uh, in this case, the the so like the image is G, and the H three over G is a, a three manifold of infinite volume, but uh, it has uh, something called convex core. So convex core is a mean map convex sub manifold. Uh, that is a deformation the graph of the entire manifold. So uh, in Fuchsian case, it, uh, it's a uh, Fuchsian case. It, 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 it's just the uh, uh, volume zero, but if you, if you can deform it uh, to a uh, Fuchsian group, and then uh, so uh, this this is an amorphic to the this R. So uh, its interior admits, or, or maybe F, no, not interior, but F cross I admits some uh, hyperbolic structure, convex hyperbolic structure. That means that the com it, it is a convex free manifold, convex free manifold, which is hyperbolic and homeomorphic to F type R. It, it, you will know that such structure exists. Um, and uh, actually, there are infinite many such structures. So uh, it's already known when Charles uh, tried to put the uh, it. So actually, it, it, it do the work of the the Alpos bears uh, and uh, other uh, specialists in uh, complex analysis. So uh, the, the, there's there's a kind of parameterization of the quasi uh, quasi Huxian representation of the parameter f. So uh, you have a Structure on, on an M map in any way this case. So uh, we'd like to um, construct the, the structure on uh, M from this. But actually, it turns out it's impossible. Uh, no quasi Fuchsian structure, convex, co 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 convex compact structure on uh, F1 times I can be pasted back to the to M. So uh, he, so Thurston, um, tried to uh, the consider the limit of quite fiction representation so that the structure can be pasted back to uh, M. So uh, in, in our case, so M, M is uh, 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 F bundle over F1. So uh, if you have an uh, F bundle, over S1. So it's it, uh, then by uh, pasting the two boundary component of F times I. And but so there, there's a map from here to there. There's homomorphic from here to there. So by uh, identifying two boundaries to uh, the, the boundary structure here, you get the uh, uh, homomorphic from uh, F to F. Which, by which you get uh, so it's, a, it's a called a monodromy monodromy and because M is uh, at the droida well, algebraically or geometrically in, in both ways so uh, the pi is uh, something called pseudo anosophy so that's also the, the work of Thurston. So Thurston classified the uh, homeomorphisms, auto homeomorphism on the surface, and he showed that there are three kinds of the homeomorphisms, or three kinds of the mapping classes. The one is uh, something called periodic, which means it is homotopic to a periodic map. And the second case is a reducible case, which means uh, so uh, up to up to iteration, a finite iteration, it fixes some uh, 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 union of simple code codes. And the third case is uh, all the other cases. So phi is not periodic, neither periodic nor reducible. So that's the general case, and it's called a pseudo anosov So in a pseudo anosov case, it's known that there's some 
so you, you have something called a stable and uh, unstable foliation. And uh, so, uh, well, because I don't have the time enough to explain this, so let me just finish the, the front part of the talk by uh, uh, just uh, uh, explaining how he uh, constructed the, uh, the atomic structure of him. So, he considered, uh, so, so uh, actually the, um, the space of uh, uh, convex compact hyperbolic structure on uh, f times i is known to be anamorphic to uh, the product of two tight spaces. So, so the 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 Teichinger appeared here. So uh, the, the, there's no Grothendieck in my talk, but the Teichinger appeared here. So, uh, uh, so it's a product of Teichinger space. And uh, first one, consider uh, some sequence in uh, in this space. Well, actually, something like. Uh, and uh, take a limit. In the, deform in the deformation space of the, the, the representation of the well, deformation space of the high public structure on uh, S cross 0, 1. And uh, he showed that there's a limit which gives rise to uh, a high public structure on uh, so I will start from here in the, in the, in the second part of the book, which should be scheduled in the, in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's. Uh...